Hi there, welcome to today's 25 minute energetic flow. The theme for today is all about being dead to sin and alive in Christ. So I'm gonna to read to you a portion of scripture. It's from the book of Romans chapter six, and this is gonna be the theme for our class today. So we're gonna start um, chapter six, verse three. In the ESV version, it says this. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were also baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing, so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. That's such a beautiful truth. So that's the truth that we're going to embody and work through and worship our way through today as we work out on our mats. So I invite you to come to a seated position and let's get started. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. Hip bones pressing down into the mat. Your palms resting gently on your knees. Close your eyes and just draw your attention onto your mat into this space. Begin to deepen your breath and feel how it fills your body. Feel how it brings energy and new life. And then feel how as you exhale, it all surrenders and releases. Begin to roll your shoulders up to your ears and then let them melt down your spine. Do this just a few times, making some space, breathing into any tightness that you feel, maybe rolling one shoulder and then the other. And really seeing if as they relax down, you can let go a little bit more. Let go of the tension in your neck. Let go of the need to hold those shoulders up. Just let go. Good. And then begin to draw the ear on the right side of your head over down to the right shoulder. And then drop your chin into your chest and roll your head over to the left and then let it fall heavy behind you. And on your own time, just keep rolling your neck clockwise, counterclockwise, holding maybe for just a couple of seconds in any places that feel especially tight. Using your breath to breathe through that transition. Beautiful. Bring your head back to center. Draw your hands behind you and clasp them. See if you can keep the palms of your hands together. If you can, if not, that's all right. It has to do with just how tight your shoulders are. Clasping those hands behind you with a big inhale. Draw your heart up and your shoulders down. Maybe those hands begin to draw a few inches away from your hips. Feeling your heart open here. And then with a big exhale, begin to slowly fold forward, lifting those hands away from your hips as far as is comfortable. Slowly come back up to center. Release your hands. Draw your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Make contact with your thumbs and a, a part of your body here. Maybe that's your heart. Maybe that's your thumbs to your lips or your thumbs to your forehead. But just close your eyes. Release your shoulders. Relax your jaw here. And take this moment to just connect with God. I'm going to read to you Romans chapter 6, starting in about verse 9 in the message version. It says, Never again will death have the last word. When Jesus died, he took sin down with him, but alive, he brings God down to us. From now on, think of it this way. Sin speaks a dead language that means nothing to you. God speaks your mother tongue, and you hang on every word. You are dead to sin and alive in God. That's what Jesus did. 
So I invite you today over these next few minutes as we move and breathe to make this your mantra. And mantra just means something that you repeat to yourself, something that you hold to, to speak truth over your heart. So I invite you to repeat this, dead to sin, alive in God. With every inhale, dead to sin, and with every exhale, alive in God. Surrendering everything to this truth of who you are. There is no wondering if this is right for you. There is no earning this. There is no um, becoming Christian enough or knowledgeable enough for this to apply to you. No, this is your identity. You are dead to sin, period. And you are alive in God. That's what Jesus did. All right, let's slowly come onto our hands and knees in a tabletop position. Wrists stacked underneath our shoulders and our knees stacked underneath our hips. And with a big inhale, press your fingertips into the mat and then draw your heart forward, arching your pelvis forward, coming into cow pose. And then with a big exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin into your chest, drop your tailbone down to the mat, coming into cat pose. Inhale forward to cow. Exhale, release into cat. Go through a few of these movements on your own breath, continuing to explore how your body's feeling. Continuing to repeat this mantra, dead to sin and alive in God. Good, return to a neutral spine and then stretch your hands out in front of you. Sink your hips back to your heels, surrender into child's pose. You can draw your knees a little bit wider apart if that feels good. And let go here. Now let's begin to root our hands into the mat, straighten those arms. Think about rounding the upper part of your arms out so you feel this opening under your armpits. Good, tuck your toes, begin to straighten your legs, lift your hips, and come to your first downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet here, sway your hips from side to side. Really think about drawing those hips up and back so we're not dumping the weight in our shoulders here. But a slight bend in your knees might really help you to draw those hips back, lengthen your spine from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Beautiful. And then energetically drawing those heels towards the mat. Breathing here. Send your gaze to your fingertips and very slowly just walk your feet up to the front of your mat. With a bend in your knees, hang here in forward fold. Seeing if you can make your torso touch your upper thighs. Good, rooting down through your feet, rise all the way up, stretching your arms up overhead and with a big inhale, palms to touch, bring them to your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, exhale, fold forward. On an inhale, draw your hands to your shins, lift halfway up, lengthening your spine so that it's parallel with the mat, and then exhale, fold back forward. Place your hands on the mat, step your right foot back and then your left foot, hugging your elbows into your ribs, lower your knees and then your chest and then your chin coming all the way down to your belly. Good, with an inhale, lift your heart up off the mat, pressing the tops of your feet and coming into a cobra pose here, a very gentle back bend. Exhale, release. Good, press into your hands, bend your knees, sink back to child's pose. From child's pose, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and stretch back to downward facing dog. With a big inhale, stretch your right foot long behind you. Really press through those toes so even they come alive and feel the energy of your breath. Good. And then drawing that knee into your chest, step it between your hands, spiral that back foot to 45 degrees so it points to the left corner of your mat. Lining heel to heel using the strength of your core, root down to rise up in warrior one. As much as you can, see if you can get those hip points to point forward to the front of the mat here. Think about pressing down energetically through the outside edge of that back foot so that you feel the lift through that inner arch. Good, and if you feel any pain in your hips here or your low spine, you can take a shorter and a bit of a wider stance. That should help alleviate that pain. 
Good, with a big inhale here, reach your arms high, and then as you exhale, begin to lower your heart and your arms to hover over that front thigh. Good, inhale, draw it back up. Rooting that tailbone down, pelvis up. Exhale, hover your torso. Inhale to rise. And one more time, let's lower halfway down, hovering here. Good, inhale, rise to stand. Good, and then let's lower down, placing our hands on either side of that front foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left foot, coming to plank pose. And either going through knees, chest, chin, and cobra again, like we did a minute ago, or full chaturanga, upper facing dog. Let's all hug our elbows into our ribs, lower halfway down. Inhale to your cobra or your upward facing dog and exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Good, this time let's lift our left foot back. Pressing through those hands and engaging through those toes. Hug that left knee into your chest, hover it forward and then place it down between your hands. Spiral that back heel flat, pointing those toes at 45 degrees and root down, rise up to warrior one. I want you, before we lift our hands here, to take one hand to your pelvis and one hand to your low back and really energetically draw that tailbone down and lift your pubis or the front of your um, pelvis here up. Good. So now that you feel that length in your spine, lift your arms up overhead, shoulders down. If you find your shoulders crunching around your ears, then just bring them more wide. And just like we did last time, with a big inhale, grow extra tall here. And then as you exhale, begin to fold halfway forward. Finding strength and stability through your feet. Inhale, back up to stand. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise. And exhale to fold. Good. Come all the way back up. One big inhale here. And then as you exhale, fold all the way down, hands on the mat, step your left foot back to meet your right, elbows to ribs, lower halfway down, inhale, cobra, upward facing dog, exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Good. Look to the front of your mat, walk your feet up to meet your hands and hang here in forward fold. Knees bent. Maybe you sway side to side a little bit. Let your head and neck release here and connect with your breath. Connect with that mantra, dead to sin, alive in God. Declare it over yourself. Preach the truth to your own heart today. Good. Let's put the weight in our heels. Begin to sink your hips back and lift your heart and arms up, coming into chair pose here. Really pressing those hips back like you were going to sit in a chair. But at the same time, think about drawing that tailbone down to the mat. So we're not in cow spine here where we're arching our pelvis and drawing our heart forward. We're still drawing our heart forward, but we're trying to really draw that tailbone down. Good. Sink a little bit deeper here. Gorgeous. And then I want you to take your right arm and begin to tuck it underneath your left elbow, wrapping your arms together in eagle arms. Maybe the backs of your hands touch, or maybe you get the fingertips of your right hand to touch the palm of your left hand. And then begin to lift that right leg up off the mat, cross it over your left leg. Maybe that foot wraps around your calf. If it doesn't, that's okay, but sinking into your chair here, all twisted up into eagle pose. Finding something to capture your attention. Setting your gaze on one still point and breathing here. Good. Slowly unravel, but don't let that right leg touch the mat yet. Begin to send it back long behind you. Draw your hands to your heart. Lean that heart forward, coming into warrior three. So that whole plane of your body here, we're trying to make it parallel to the mat. Gorgeous. And then with that right leg long behind you, just begin to lower it down so your toes touch the mat, coming into high lunge here. So bend into that left knee. The balls of your right toe are lifted. Your heel is stacked over that ball of your foot. And that back right leg doesn't have to be straight. You can bend it a little bit. But just like we did in Warrior One, let's think about pointing our hip points to the front of the mat. Let's think about drawing our tailbone down and the front of our pelvis up. Gorgeous. Breathing here. 
and let's take our arms back into eagle arms just like we did a minute ago. So right elbow hooking under left elbow, back of hands or palms to touch. With a big inhale, draw your shoulders down and your elbows up, those fingertips closer to your forehead. Good. With those arms wrapped together in that front knee bent, I want you to begin to straighten that leg and arch the top of your spine up like we're doing a cow pose. And then as you exhale, bend to that front knee. Slowly come forward just enough to round your spine. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Straighten that front leg. Reach your heart up. Exhale, round your spine, bend into that front knee. This is a tricky balance, but you can do it one more time. Inhale, heart up, elbows up, reach that spine. Exhale, round, hugging those elbows into your chest. Good, come back to center, release. And then I want you to um, point your right and left toes over to the left side of your mat, straightening that right leg. We're going to come into a wide-legged forward fold, facing the left side of our mat. Your feet can be as far or as close together as feels comfortable. If you're feeling pain on one side of your sit bones or hips, then just pigeon toes your uh, pigeon toe your feet here a little bit. So draw those toes just a little bit into the center. And just like we do in a regular forward fold, placing your hands on your shin or the mat with an inhale, lengthen your spine forward, and then exhale to totally release, surrendering into the fold. Okay, begin to crawl your hands over to your right foot, coming up onto the toes of both feet. Plant your hands at the top of your mat. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Lower halfway down in Chaturanga or all the way to your belly. Press up to a back bend of your choice, Cobra Upward Facing Dog. And then lift your hips, press back to Downward Facing Dog. Two big deep breaths here. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe you shake your head yes or no. Reminding yourself of your identity. Reminding yourself that never again will death have the last word. That sin speaks a dead language that means nothing to you. But the word of God, that's what you hang on. That's what brings you life. That's what defines your identity. Look to your hands. Begin to walk your feet up to meet them. Hang and forward fold at the top of your mat. Rooting down through your heels. Begin to sink your hips back. Stretch your arms and heart up and sit into your chair pose. Good. Let's take that left elbow now. Hook it underneath our right elbow. Backs of hands or our palms to touch. And then rooting down through that right leg, begin to lift your left foot up off the mat. Cross it over your right leg. Maybe that left foot hugs around that right calf. If it doesn't, that's okay. But really press your limbs together here. We're energetically drawing into our midline. Breathing into this tight space. Slowly begin to unravel, draw your hands to your heart and then draw that left leg long behind you and reach your heart forward coming into warrior three. See if you can keep your hips on an even plane here so that left hip isn't popping up higher than the other. This is a challenge. Beautiful, and then draw that left leg even farther back and then lower it down to the mat, coming into a high lunge on this side. Pressing into that front knee, coming up onto the ball of that back foot. Maybe that back leg is bent just a little bit, that's all right. And less like we did on the other side, one hand to your front of your belly, another hand to your low back, and remind yourself, tailbone down, pelvis up length through your spine. Beautiful. All right, let's take eagle arms one more time on this side. Left elbow hooks under right elbow. And then with a big inhale, straighten that front leg, arch the top of your spine, reach your heart up. Exhale, bend into that front knee, round your spine, folding forward ever so smallly. Good, inhale, straighten your leg, reach your heart, draw those elbows up. 
exhale bend your knee round your spine hug it all out one more time inhale straighten your leg reach up so beautiful exhale bend to that front knee round your spine good come all the way up release your arms inhale stretch them tall overhead and then exhale place them down on the mat step your foot back to meet your back foot lower halfway down inhale cobra upward facing dog exhale press back downward facing dog good lower your knees to the mat maybe you send them wide to the very edges of your mat sink your hips down to your heels and surrender here in child's pose slowly crawl yourself back up and then swing your feet just over to the left side. So your hip points are on the mat, your knees are bent, and your feet are just to the left side of your body. Placing the left hand down by your feet with a big inhale, stretch your right arm up and over, really energetically rooting down through that right hip to emphasize this side stretch. You can draw your shoulder down to explore that stretch in your back, or maybe you open your heart up to heaven and feel it in a different area of your body. Good. Slowly release that right arm down. Swing those feet up in front of you. Place the soles of your feet down so they're at a 90 degree angle. Place your hands behind you, fingertips pointing forward, and with a big inhale, reach your hips up, coming into a tabletop pose. Seeing if you can get your knees, your hip points, your shoulders all on the same line. Good. Exhale, release. And then let's point those feet over to the right side of our body here. Rooting down through our left hip. Right hand down by our feet with a big inhale, stretch your left arm up and all the way over. Press down through that left hip and explore the stretch here, forward, backwards, deeper, more shallow. Finding what's true for your body today and reminding yourself that life is found in Jesus. That life isn't found in sin that sin is no longer your identity, that death doesn't have power over you, but we walk in the newness of life. That's our inheritance. Good, slowly swing, come back to center. Swing those feet out in front of you one more time. Let's take tabletop pose once again. Hands down behind you, palms facing your heels. Inhale, lift your hips, stretch your heart, open across those shoulders. Exhale, release down. Good. Draw the soles of your feet together. Either draw them closer to your hips. If that's too uncomfortable for you, you can stretch them out a little bit farther in front of you. Come into like a more diamond shape pose. Root down through those hip bones. Tailbone down just like we did in warrior one and in high lunge. And with your hands wrapped around your feet, inhale to grow tall. And then exhale to slowly fold forward. Sending your breath into your hips, seeing if you can release and relax a little bit more. Not hold so tightly, but let go. Good, and when you're ready, begin to release this grip and slowly make your way all the way down onto your back. Settling into Shavasana, our final resting pose for today's class. Arms stretched out alongside of you, palms up, closing your eyes, letting go of any tension you're holding on to in your fingers or your wrists. Feeling your belly rise and fall with each breath. Relax your jaw and your teeth. Let your tongue relax in your mouth. Feel softness around your eyes and in between them. Romans 6, 5 says this, Each of us is raised into a light-filled world by our Father so that we can see where we're going in our new, grace sovereign country. Could it be any clearer? 
Our old way of life was nailed to the cross with Christ. A decisive end to the sin-miserable life, no longer at sin's every beck and call. What we believe is this. If we get included in Christ's sin-conquering death, we also get included in his life-saving resurrection. Friends, I hope that today you see the light all around you. You know that grace defines your identity. You know that sin doesn't have power over you, that death doesn't define the way you live your life. But you live and you walk in the life in resurrection, in new birth. God, I thank you that you are a God of resurrection, that you're not just a God who defied death, but you're a God who nailed our own sin to the cross and then rose again, showing us that it has no power over us, that in you we know life and the fullness of life. May we walk in that today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for practicing with me today, friends. Stay for as long as you want, and I will see you back here on your mat soon.